good afternoon everybody and welcome to this video 21 and my camera balanced precariously, very precariously, on the edge of the trash can. Uh, and as you might notice, this video is a little bit different than the ones that I have done the past 19 videos because it has been one year since my first video was posted and that was my favorite subway station, Roosevelt Island. And since then, so much has happened on this channel. So much has changed. I have tried to make similar videos, the ones that make you happy, but I've gone on trips. I've got a new microphone. I've adjusted my editing style. I have done a collaboration with the amazing Classy Will, and I have done so much more. Truly, a lot has changed, and I'm so glad that I started it. So I wanted to make this video to celebrate one year, to celebrate 100 subscribers. It's not the most amazing thing in the world, but it is really great to just know that there are some awesome people out there that enjoy my content. And I wanted to make this video to show you my favorite Long Island Railroad station at Atlantic Terminal Station. So we'll get to that in just a second. But before I do, I just wanted to say again, thank you all so much for supporting uh, the content that I make, for watching, for commenting, for subscribing. You know, I, I originally started this as a project, just something for myself, something for me to do to keep up my film skills, to keep up my capabilities, to just make everything a little bit better. This was a project for me, and it has become a project for all of you. Um, and you know, I'm trying not to get bogged down by all of the, uh, you know, little details of dealing with the algorithm and making content that will shock, you know. I took a three month break for no apparent reason, so, uh, really a lot of it is just for me, but I am so glad that you have been able to enjoy that. So we're gonna get to a tour of the station in just a second, um, but I did want to just, A, quickly really thank Caleb with Classy Whale, awesome guy that really helped me grow this channel just about a month ago through our collaboration videos. Um, and I also just wanted to ask, you know, I'm not gonna set up a Patreon or ever uh, lock anything behind uh, a paywall. This will always be free content for you to watch. Nothing will change, but Making this content does have a price of riding the trains, of getting the microphone, of using the equipment, of all of that. So I am setting up a Kofi that'll be in the description. I'm never gonna mention it again. It'll just always be in the description of my video or I'll try not to mention it again. But if you're willing to go in and pay for one subway ride, donate 275 and then I can take the train for free. That would be so awesome. You know, the, like I said, this equipment does cost money and also the least used Orange Line Station video a little while back, licensing those songs cost almost $75. So again, if you're willing to donate the price of an MBTA bus ride, of a NYC subway ride, of an NYC express bus ride, of New Jersey Transit to Newark Airport, that would be so awesome. I would be so appreciative. And uh, thank you all again so much for one year of amazing content. And now, let's take a look around Atlantic Terminal so I can tell you why it's my favorite Long Island Railroad station. All right, so I am here on platform A, track one. I got super lucky with this M9 behind me. I've actually never ridden an M9 before, but uh, it just happens to be here. I'm not gonna be riding it, which makes me really sad, but it's just the way that it happened. And you know, this kind of style of video has become a little bit foreign to me, uh, just walking and talking for such a long period of time. It's the only way I knew how to make those videos at first, and now it's a little foreign to me. So it's not gonna be the same as the first video ever, but I just think that one of the best ways to talk about why a station is so great starts on platform level. And for me, these platforms at Atlantic Terminal are really what I think all, you know, medium, large size terminal platforms could look like. I feel like even Penn Station could have great platforms like this. They're not too dim, but they're not super bright. They have just the right amount of lighting. I feel like the signage is really clever. I love the way that the signage is integrated. And the platforms are wide enough, but not too wide. They're long enough, but they're not too long. They just feel like such a great fit for a small terminal station. And so I just love these platforms and I love the way that they are designed, like I said. Even down to the fact of the integrated up here departure boards with the track numbers in it in a very bright contrasting yellow color. There's just so much about these platforms that I feel are to love. And I don't think I have ever had a scenario where I've come into this station on a train and felt like, ah, I don't wanna deal with this today. The only bad part about it is when they just randomly decide that you're not allowed to get off the train at the back couple of doors even though they platform. And that's not an issue with the station, that's an issue with operations. So I think starting with the platform, even the way the ads are integrated in the ways that the signs are designed, it just feels 
right, it feels natural, and it feels comfortable. Um, and I just love the station for that. So now we'll go back all the way to the other end of the platform. Maybe that's something to fix with more exits, but we'll go all the way to the other end of the platform to uh, go and look at the head house. about it I've decided to come here to the I don't know if I've ever boarded or deboarded a train here so I'm just gonna say lesser used platform C tracks 5 and 6 um, which has a very cool view you can see into the Atlantic uh, subway station there Atlantic terminal subway station there but I guess these tracks don't, don't get a lot of usage they're a little bit shorter and tucked off to the side but um, yeah there you have it there's my brief little discussion of why I love Atlantic Terminal. I think it is a really awesome station that is well designed and really fit for purpose, um, at least the way it is currently served with some direct train. Not super frequent service, but just generally good service. Um, you know, the head house could be a little bit larger. I went out to go and take some photos of the head house and the waiting area is just jammed with people waiting for the train and there's not even that many. It's just kind of small. Um, it's attached to a mall, which isn't the best thing. It's a very American thing. It's like the Oculus. It's like, you know, this very retail focused thing, but it's not the best. It would be better maybe if it was standalone. And yeah, maybe some air conditioning would be nice. Maybe there's a couple of upgrades that could be made, but I think at least the way that it currently exists, the station is really awesome. I love the way that it's designed. And I'd love to see it used more in the future. Unfortunately, it's actually probably going to be used less when all of the trains switch over to being shuttle trains between here in Jamaica with a couple of three trains, I believe, on the West Hempstead line and one other that I, I can't remember off the top of my head. And I really think that that's sad. I believe that this station should be seeing more service than it currently is because as a whole, I love the Atlantic branch and the way that it is set up to provide service to Brooklyn and Queens um, with a series of shoulder stations that can provide both local inter, uh, intraborough service with uh, the entire regional idea of Long Island Railroad. So I think that it is just an awesome station on an awesome branch. I highly recommend that you board and deboard a train here. And I would also love to see this style of design, this style of minimal, simple, not oversized. I would love to see this station design get more usage. So I love this station. I think it's awesome. I also just really love the sort of retro early 2000s, lots of, you know, dim-ish lighting and just all of these things that make it feel so much nicer than a lot of Long Island Railroad stations, which are just a platform near a parking lot. But still, I think this one is pretty unique. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Whether you've been here since the beginning for a full year, for just a month, just a couple videos and you don't know how long it's been, I really appreciate you. And I really appreciate you watching. So once again, thank you so much. I hope you'll stick around for some more videos. I hope if you can, if you are capable, you'll donate one subway swipe on my Kofi page. There you go. I'm not going to mention it again unless I really, really need to or have some cool idea with it. And that just about does it. So I will see you in the next video. I did say I was going to be in New Orleans. And I was in New Orleans. And I'll be editing those videos and posting them very soon. So get ready and have a good one. See you next time.